Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Friday, June 10th. Well, what we're looking for in the NASDAQ market, not much. You know, this overall structure is what I call containment shadows. We talked about that in the advanced video. It implies a, a neutral type setting. I'm looking for that to continue. I'm not looking for a strong day up or down for Friday's action in the NASDAQ market. But let's move on over to those currencies. The euro broke to the downside so the euro's weaker u.s dollar stronger i'm looking for that to continue by the way it traded below its bearish level and the magnitude change between the bullish and bearish level in that market is two thousand five hundred sixty two dollars and fifty cents per contract and again i'm looking for further weakness there also let's take a look here at the aussie dollar it traded below its bearish level and the DAC magnitude change between the bullish and bearish level level for that market is $1,750 a contract and I'm looking for further weakness as we go into this weekend and when it comes to interest rates well we see that shadow on the high in the notes that does make sense based upon what we saw in the stock market I'm looking for a down day but not a dramatic day in the 10-year notes in gold well, it made new highs. It's slowing down a tad bit. It's the right kind of behavior. I look for a sideways move as we go into the weekend. Silver, on the other hand, traded below its bearish level. And the magnitude change between the bullish and bearish level in that market is $2,200 a contract. And what are we looking for? Well, I'm looking for a sideways move. I don't expect a dramatic close as we go into the weekend. And in crude oil, we traded below its bearish level. And the magnitude change between the bullish and bearish level there is $1,000 a contract. I'm looking for a quiet sideways move as we go into this weekend weekend and when it comes to the grains soybeans you are looking for a relatively quiet day it gave us that behavior right on target but I'm looking for more of the same on Friday corn on the other hand traded below its bearish level and the magnitude change between the bullish and bearish level in that market is six hundred and fifty dollars a contract I'm looking for a quiet day to lower in that market not dramatically lower but I'm looking for this downward pressure that you're seeing starting in Asia to continue also same thing holds true for wheat now the magnitude change between the bearish and bullish level in that market is one thousand fifty dollars a contract again just to give you a feel for what that size of movement means in dollars and cents and I'm looking for continued downward pressure well, that concludes today's market studies. Thank you for being with me, and I'm looking forward to being with you again tomorrow. In the meantime, take care.